Well, good day, everybody, and welcome to ServiceNow's IT Workflows Tech Bite for what's new in Quebec. In this session, we'll be discussing what's new in Quebec for cloud provisioning and governance, which is part of the ITOM optimization scheme. My name is Robin Cincinnati, and I'm an advisory solution consultant for IT operations management. So ServiceNow delivers digital change with the platform for IT. As you can see, we have multiple workflows that ride upon the same platform. We have IT workflows, employee workflows, customer workflows, and of course, you can consume App Engine to create your own workflows. Again, all using the one platform, one data model, one architecture. As we drill into the IT workflows, we can see that there are many categories. The one in particular that we'll be drilling down into is IT operations management. Within IT operations management, we have three operational pillars that can describe our solutions. Visibility helps to ensure that you have near real-time visibility across your IT estate. Health provides proactively identifying service health issues and quickly pinpointing root cause. But in this session, we're going to be focusing in on optimization, which helps simplify self-service access to cloud resources, manage governance and provide automation around. As you can see, we've added many new capabilities and features within ITOM optimization throughout the releases. And as mentioned, this session will be focusing on Quebec. The major new features that are coming out in the Quebec release for ITOM optimization are Terraform for AWS, Terraform change governance, and policy triggers for exceeding quota. And we'll drill down into each one of these. So with the Quebec release, we are officially supporting AWS with Terraform. It was possible before to get Terraform to support AWS by following some steps in a blog post. But now we're able to provide out of the box connectivity within Quebec. Next is Terraform change governance. So when a Terraform template changes in a code repository in a, or in a directory structure on their respective servers, we were able to now create a task, open it, and assign it to a cloud designer. That task can notify the change, but it can also work to streamline the workflow of approving the new version of the template. This provides consistent change governance managed by ServiceNow for Terraform templates as they change in the environment. And finally, in this section, policy triggers for ex exceeding quota. So we now have workflow that will be able to be triggered if quotas are exceeded. So customers would like to define the behavior of over quota conditions. So they now can launch a custom workflow to do so. The order process can be governed through a policy to enforce approvals or a flag a notification that's simply denying the request. In this section, we'll review the major enhancements within Quebec for ITOM optimization. There are four areas that we're going to cover. Quotas for cloud templates, Terraform enterprise support for GitLabs as a repository, Terraform enterprise support for VMware, and Terraform support for shared workspaces.
So before a cloud consumer orders a new template-based catalog item, we can now calculate whether or not they're already over quota with the resources in question. We've also added, and it will be covered in the next section, quota policy trigger in the form of governance. So the customers can determine what actions are to be taken when a user or a group is or at over quota. Next is Terraform Enterprise support for GitLabs as a repository. Now, users can enjoy the same code repository benefits as workflows as GitHub users when it comes to Terraform templates. Within the Quebec release, we are supporting Terraform Enterprise for VMware. This provides feature parity between Terraform open source, which already supported VMware, and Terraform Enterprise. This gives our customers the bell curve of hybrid cloud technology under the Terraform Enterprise umbrella, but it supports currently AWS, Azure, and VMware. The next feature we'll discuss is Terraform support for shared workspaces. So instead of having to create a new workspace for each deployment that we're provisioning, we're now allowing workspaces to be reused anytime a deployment for Terraform template creates additional management touch points. This alleviates any issues with licensing using Terraform Enterprise. And finally, we'll cover three minor features or enhancements in cloud provisioning and governance in the Quebec release. Cloud resource dashboard, Google Cloud folder support, and AWS trust relationships have been added. The cloud resource dashboards allows us to quickly visualize resource information. We provide trend and summary reporting for all your cloud resources, as well as the ability to drill down capabilities and filtering by accounts, regions, resource groups, et cetera. Next, support for Google Cloud Folder. We're now able to run GCP discovery top down, starting from a folder or an organization or an individual project to properly identify folders and relate them back to the correct Google resources within the CMDB. And lastly, AWS IAM trust relationships. It's a new way to set up service accounts for AWS. Within AWS IAM, you can now choose to trust a separate account external to your organization. This trusted account can be specifically permissioned for what actions you'd like to perform. Thank you for listening to What's New in Quebec for ITOM Optimization. If you have further questions or would like additional information, please contact your ServiceNow account team.